Donald Trump's attorney Rudy Giuliani is being paid to assist lawyers working to free a wealthy Romanian-American real estate magnate who was convicted and sentenced to prison over a corrupt land deal. Rudy Giuliani attacks Romania for excessive crackdown on corruption Read more Giuliani last week wrote to Romania's president and prime minister to complain about the nature of their country's efforts to tackle corruption. He called for an amnesty for people convicted under what he called the excesses of the Romanian anti-corruption authorities. The former New York City mayor said on Tuesday that he wrote the letter under a retainer he is paid by the Free Group, a private consultancy run by Giuliani's friend Louis Free, a former FBI director and federal judge. Giuliani declined to say how much he was paid. Free represents Gabriel Puyupopovishu, who was convicted in 2016 of crimes relating to his purchase of land in Bucharest that he developed into a shopping mall. The conviction was upheld last year by an appeals court and Popovishu was sentenced to seven years in prison. After police struggled to find him, he was located in London and arrested. In a statement last year, Free said he had concluded that Popovishu's conviction and sentence were not supported by either the facts or the law after reviewing the case with a team that included former federal prosecutors. Giuliani said he wrote his letter to Romani following a review of the work done by Louis Free and Jim Bucknam, Free Group's chief executive. Bucknam worked for Giuliani as a federal prosecutor during the late 1980s, when Giuliani was the U.S. attorney in Manhattan. While Giuliani's letter did not mention Popovishu's case, he claimed that innocent people had been jailed and that an amnesty should be given to those who have been prosecuted and convicted through the excesses of the anti-corruption agency. Asked to confirm that his work for free effectively related to Popovishu's case, Giuliani said in a text message, overall situation not any one case. The letter speaks for itself. The rest you have to get from my client. Free and Bucknam did not respond to requests for comment. Giuliani said it was not improper for him to intervene in a foreign country's law enforcement while simultaneously representing the U.S. president and that the work was unconnected. But after Romania's ambassador to the U.S. criticized Giuliani's remarks, the country's foreign ministry said in a statement that the country's ambassadors should refrain from public statements that could negatively affect bilateral relations with other states. Sign up for The Guardian's U.S. daily email read more Popovishu was last reported to have been bailed in the U.K. pending extradition. The Metropolitan Police did not respond to questions about his case. According to Romanian media reports, Free Group has also been retained by Alexander Adamescu, a second wealthy Romanian awaiting extradition from London to face charges in his home country. Popovishu moved to the U.S. from Romania in the early 1990s with his then-wife Doina, the daughter of a former senior official in Nicolae Taușescu's communist regime. Both registered to vote in the U.S., having apparently obtained U.S. citizenship. The Popovicius lived in New Jersey before buying a $3 million condominium together in Midtown Manhattan. The couple is reported to have divorced in 2012. Doina Popovishu now owns the apartment and a neighboring unit that she bought for $3.6 million, according to city records.